pro-Trump mob stormed the U.S. Capitol on Wednesday, forcing lawmakers into hiding in an attempt to overturn the U.S. election result and disrupt electoral count. One lady has been shot dead as President Donald Trump's diehard supporters clashed violently with local police and law enforcement officers. As per reports, 52 people have been arrested and the Washington, D.C. police has said that the death toll has reached to four. The attack was unfolded on the same day that Trump's Republicans lost their majority in the Senate after losing two runoff elections in Georgia. As the crowds waved, Trump flags stopped the steel signs. The lawmakers inside the chamber had to wear gas masks and were evacuated from the building through the underground tunnels to safety. Four hours post the attack and disarming of the two suspected explosive devices, FBI officials declared U.S. capital secure. U.S. capital violence has stunned the world. Prime Minister Narendra Modi took to Twitter, urging for a peaceful transition of power. President Trump's Twitter account was logged for 12 hours with a warning of permanent ban if he did not remove his rule-breaking tweets. As per reports, Facebook and the platform it owns, Instagram also said Trump's pages will be blocked for 24 hours. In a video on Wednesday, Trump urged his supporters who forced their way into the Capitol earlier in the day to go home. I know you're pain. I know you're hurt. We had an election that was stolen from us. It was a landslide election and everyone knows it, especially the other side. But you have to go home now. We have to have peace. So go home. We love you. You're very special. But repeated his unsubstantiated claims about widespread fraud in the November 3rd, 2020 presidential elections. President-elect Joe Biden denounced the attack on U.S. Capitol as a dark moment in the history of United States. At their best, the words of a president can inspire. At their worst, they can incite. As per reports, the business groups, known to be strong allies of Republicans in Washington, have also reacted strongly with the National Association of Manufacturers saying that Pence should consider invoking a clause in the Constitution for removal of a president from office if he is unable to do his job.